As you look around the supermarket, you'll see a massive variety of food and drink. We need to consume food and drink so that we have enough energy to do all the activities that we do throughout the day, like walking, playing sports and sleeping. Food and drink store energy in their chemical energy stores. Food labels tell us how much energy we get from food and drink. As well as how much energy you get from consuming the product, it will also give you information about the nutrients including fat, carbohydrates, protein and salt for example. You need to be careful because the food labels don't often tell you how much energy is in the whole of the product. It might give an indication to say that it is the energy per 100 grams, as in the case for this yoghurt. Or it might be the energy that they give you per half of the product or per a quarter of the product. So you need to read the labels very carefully. Here, this yoghurt is providing 212 kilojoules of energy per 100 grams. This drink over here has got two options. They give you the um, amounts per 100 ml and also the amounts per 250 ml. So we can see here this drink provides 241 kilojoules of energy per 100 ml or 603 kilojoules of energy per 250 ml and again gives information about other nutrients and vitamins as well. Energy is measured in joules. One kilojoule is a thousand joules. So for this yoghurt here per 100 grams because it says kilojoules that really means it's got 212,000 joules per 100 grams. This drink over here per 100 mils because it's kilojoules it has 241 thousand joules of energy per 100 mil. Energy in food and drink is also measured in calories. You can see here we have a second value for energy with a different unit. This says it has 50 kilocalories and again over here 57 kilocalories per 100 mil for this drink. One small calorie if we just look at it as cal is the energy needed to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree C. But because that's talking in such small amounts, we often will see on the packaging kilocalories, but we often just call these calories anyway. So when we're talking about how many calories we should be taking in, really we're referring to kilocalories as opposed to one small calorie. You need different amounts of energy for different activities. For example, when running, you're using up 3,500 kilojoules per hour. When resting, only 360 kilojoules per hour. And when sleeping, 300 kilojoules per hour. Adults should maintain an energy balance and not take in more energy than they need. So if you're doing lots of running in a day, you can consume some more calories because you are using up more energy. Whereas if you are resting lots of the day and sleeping lots of the day, you won't need to eat as many calories to maintain that energy balance. As well as food, fuels are also a source of energy. Fuels such as coal, oil, wood and gas are all stores of energy. The energy stored in fuels and food is called chemical energy. And energy is released when the fuels are burned. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.